Hello? Hello, Danai. Yes, sir. Uh, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm very well as well. Congratulations on uh, your role that is already buzzing all over the world. How does that make you feel? Thank you. Uh, about which part, sorry? Uh, about your role uh, as Okoye in... Uh, in in Black oh, yes. Panther. Um, yes. Hey, hey. I mean, it's, it's um. I really, I really enjoyed. Uh, I love the character. I love the world that we got to be part of creation. I love that we get to now share it with the world, and and people are, are enjoying the story and and the, and the, the the film. So, you know, it's um, it feels great. It feels um, it feels uh, the celebration. You know. How how challenging was the role for you? Um, there were some things about it that were very that really were very easy for me because I love um, I'm a big lover of the continent and the idea of a country like Wakanda was very easy for me to to uh, embrace and love like a, a nation that has never been colonized but became very powerful and very self-developed like Wakanda and that my job was to protect it, to protect the throne. Like to me that was a very um that was something I could really get to find. I could I could understand the character had a great love for such a nation and a protection of it and wanting to preserve it, you know? So that made her very easy to play. But I mean in other ways I am very I'm very creative and she's she's a traditionalist. You know, so that was a difference. Um, but I think she's also very, um, she's also very good at combat. So I had to learn how to move, fight like her and move like her. And um, that was uh, something very, uh, very, cause in the beginning, that was really challenging. a lot of hard work, you know. So um, there were some ways that she was, uh, I really understood her. There were some ways I had to work really hard, especially the combat. But I mean, you're you're not uh, new to combat. You you went from uh, slaying zombies to becoming uh, an African warrior on such a large scale. So it, it's like uh, now your fan base is now knowing you for uh, all the uh, action woman moves. <laughs> is that something we will see you uh, take up more of? <laughs> Is it something that you see more of you uh, in, in in such roles uh, in the future? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, the thing with Michelle is she's very different in how she moves. Like her movement was with the sword, and she's very kind of broad, efficient. Whereas you know, so I have to learn how to use that spear. It's very different what weapon. Uh, and to use the way that you're analyzing me like a unicorn and like, you know, in certain ways, almost like a plan. So it's a very different weapon and movement. So there are times I would try to act to see it like how I do it, how Michelle moves, like she does the fight technique. But it really works. So I have to really find a move with other women and how she would fight versus how, you know, I can't find TV fight. So I liked that, you know, they were very different. There was no way I could lean on my use of the sword when it came to using that, that long spear, you know. Great. It was just, just different. Great. Um, so it was, it, was a new, it was a new process to, 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 to deal with that weapon. But, I mean, I'm not sure. I always did want to do action, but, you know, I'm also a poet. I've also done things like, of course, Mother and Swords and, you know, The Visitor and much more quiet so reasons like that. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, of course, I'm... And of course, you know, just, you know, all eyes on me, so I'm very willing to do roles that thrill me. They have to be roles that fascinate me, that thrill me, that excite me, you know, yeah. um, that make me feel like this is a story I want to tell. To be a part uh, That's what's most important. Great. If they are fighters as well, sure. Great. But the most important thing is I have to have to tell it. Like how Okoye is the story of a woman in, on the continent from the continent, but we've never, we haven't seen that woman before, you know, and I've never heard of such a woman, you know, head of an army and, yeah. and you know, right home on a bit of a team. 
I, you know, if we also have any other topics in that way, I, I was excited to step into that type of a, a world, you know. So as long as it excites me, it, I'll be whichever role <laughs> that it, it really feels Good. exciting to me, you know. Good. And uh, as a playwright that loves to tell African stories uh, in the Western world, uh, what impact do you think uh, the global buzz of uh, Black Panther would have on Africa uh, I- I- in general, although it was set in a, a fictitious African country? Um, I think, you know, what I, what I think I love about Wakanda is that I think there's something about it that can help us as Africans just to hold our heads a little higher. And, you know, feel even that, more, that much more proud because we have such capability and such potential and there is such a celebration of that in the fictitious world of Wakanda. So I knew maybe we could have been, we could be, we could have been without colonization. They were colonized and they developed into that Wakanda, you know? And the idea that we have such greatness in us yeah. and we um, are, you know, very, very capable of it. And we have so much to explore in, in ourselves. You know, I, I think, you know, I think there's some things about that that resonate um, for us as Africans, just to see that sort of, um, epic portrayal, you know, in that world. Um, and I think that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. You know, that we have such capability and such potential to do so much more than we could ever do. Yeah. And that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. And that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. And that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. And that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. And that's what makes it so exciting to me. Yeah. And that's what to really celebrate an authentic detail, even to the costumes. They're, they're, yes, they're futuristic, but they're very unique in, in African dress, you know, of different uh, ethnicities across the continent. There's a celebration happening in this film of exactly what we are without any influence. And I think that there's something exciting as I said, us all on the continent to think about how, how much of our own selves that we start to explore more uh, that, you know, to lead us to gain to our own greatness. Also, I love the way women are very equal in this society. And I would love us to look at that. There's so much greatness in this idea that when we allow women to function in their full potential, you know, there's so much to gain as a society. So I, I also think that's something great for us to look for as Africans, definitely. Great. And finally, if I could put you on the spot, if you were to pick uh, an all African cast uh, for the for, for 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 this movie, who would your five leading uh, actors be? I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> what I love about this film, and what I love is that all these people in that film are African. You know, the thing that's beautiful is that Africa. People were displaced, people were taken out of the continent, and people moved, you know, out of the continent. Yet, they were snapped out of the continent. But you look at them, and you still see people that they walk down the streets of, of, of our country, you would consider them members of the society. You would realize we come from America or from the Caribbean or anything, you know? Yeah. And so I love that our African face and our African, um, you know, appearance has never been, has never been Breaking apart still there. And I love that, you know, you look at John Connery and Fabulous Boseman. That looks like a father and a son. Yes. You know? You look at Gary K. Brown and, um, and, uh, Akando Akami. And that looks like, like, two brothers, you know? Yeah. Never mind that Sterling is from St. Louis, Missouri, and Akando is from Johannesburg. Never mind. They're the best brothers. Yeah. I love that. Great. So I wouldn't change anything. Great. Okay. Great. Yeah. Great. So, uh, what should uh, the world look up from Dana in terms of your personal works as well as uh, the whole Marvel franchise? Uh, I believe uh, you, you'll be in the the civil the, the, the next uh, Avengers as well. So, what should people look for from from you? All in all. What is my what, guys? I'm, I'm asking, uh, what should people look look forward to from you as a, as a, 
an actress and also from the franchise i believe uh you will be in the next avengers movie uh coming up later this year as well so all together what should what are some of the roles that people should look forward to this year and be, uh, uh, and beyond well, yeah, it's been, uh, coming up All the best. Uh, thanks for talking with me. No problem. Thank you. All the best to you also. Right. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.